Okie dokie. So, as we said, posture was the key issue, making sure we're getting a roughly a 90 degree angle between shaft and body. For me, that is absolutely fine. I'm going to be anywhere near or close to where you are. There's a good position. Compare that to where you were being sort of more upright. You've got your shoulder there and your hip joint. The club now just being a little bit too close. You certainly are near with the ball there with your feet, as mm-hmm. we said. Yep. So when you are now in this position back here, you just seem further from the ball. But your arms are hanging straight down from the shoulders. Your shoulders are actually in some ways nearer the golf ball. The same distance possibly, I'd say. Just you put your feet further back. Okay. If we actually just clear all these lines and look at the sort of gap there from... Take your legs out of play and just look at that there and zoom in and just look there, okay? Your feet now are in the similar sort of position there now, but the fact your shoulders are hanging down with the arms there and the clubs out in front of you, you're not much further from the ball, right. okay? But you seem that way because you're measurable, as we said, is that, mm. okay? But you're actually over the ball more in a better position. So once you're over the ball there now, your hips and body can rotate. The knee will come in, as we said, because your hips are now rotating rather than sliding once you're at the top of the backswing now your lower half can unwind as we come into impact you can see your hips now cleared out of the way we can rotate striking the golf ball there as we can see straight down the driving range there and a full release of the body up onto that left side okay so you can see your full lower half movement there now there was no stuck in that swing right. because the hips have twisted on the way back to then unwind on the way through whereas before when you got a little bit sort of slidey with the hips there as you came back to the golf ball sort of standing up a little bit so you come to the sort of a bit stuck there, posture rising up and not able to sort of move out the old shank and that sort of right foot now is almost just sort of kicking through as sort of an afterthought. There's not so much twist there, it's just more of a just a uh, and the leg just sort of firing through as a I need to finish the swing so I'll just kick my leg through. That was a lot more sort of hip twist through the ball and the leg sort of coming through with it around this way. Whereas this one the knees will sort of just sort of just kick out there and just do my job because it needs to do that but unfortunately when you get that stuck position there dot you just your hips are sliding yeah. when they slide too much they can't rotate so as a result of that you knew your leg was a problem yeah. but to stop the problem is actually curing it and not just saying don't do it okay like i say with some of the coughs they don't cough it doesn't cure the cough does it yeah. actually get them what how can we cure this change your posture get your spine angle over the ball more in a roughly 90 degree angle as we said now your hips can rotate more effectively that's going to give you the best chance for a goal club. I think by the virtue of the sort of shots you've hit there, when you get it right now, mm. it's very good. Just on occasions, though, when you set up, you don't quite get the right distance. As I said, when you go through the sequence at set up, start with the club first behind the golf ball, then put your grip on it, creating your posture, and then the last thing you do is set your feet. If you put your feet first and guess, and then just try and lean into the ball or stand up yeah. accordingly, you're guessing your spine angle. If I said, you know, how far from the golf ball do you stand... No one knows the number, and if you didn't know the number, you wouldn't measure on the golf course with a mm. tape measure, would you? So it's just purely an eyeball guesstimate. Well, an inch out isn't a long way, is it? But an inch out at impact is a big difference, and that's in the tree shanking or hoiking it way left. So go through the information we know. Club we know goes behind the ball. Hands go on the club. Get your spine angle, and then you can rotate more effectively, okay? Mm. Make sense? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, mate. A couple more then. We'll finish off.